Hey there, I just read a review of the Rocky Mountain Altitude Powerplay and the reviewers had one negative thing to say. It was about the fixed integrated battery that cannot be removed. But is that necessarily a bad thing? There are basically three different ways of attaching a battery to an e-bike. Here is the external uh, battery that is also removable. It's sort of the old-fashioned way of installing the battery. It doesn't really look as good as an integrated battery, but it's cheaper because you don't have to make too many modifications to the frame. The frame can be shaped by hydroforming and you don't have to do any cutting in the frame. Also, having the battery easily accessible and removable is practical. Then there's the internally installed uh, and removable battery. It's still quite practical when the battery is easily removable, and a lot of people think it looks way better. But depending on how the battery is integrated, it can um, add a bit of weight and complexity. Some manufacturers choose to cut out a large section of the down tube. This uh, compromises frame rigidity, and uh, therefore they have to add extra reinforcement to the frame. That adds a lot of weight, and it adds a bit of cost. So some manufacturers uh, have taken a different approach. They want to cut out as little as possible from the frame. For instance, Specialized and the High Bike, they have just got a little hole at the bottom of the down tube to slide the battery in and out. This ensures the battery is easily removed and they haven't removed too much of the frame, so stiffness doesn't really suffer. And they don't have to do much uh, reinforcement that uh, adds weight. And lastly, there's the non-removable integrated battery. Usually, you will have to remove the motor to get the battery out. None of the big motor manufacturers make this battery, so the manufacturers such as Focus and Rocky Mountain will have to make their own batteries. This design can be made pretty lightweight because there's no need for clamps to allow for battery removal and, and very little um, reinforcement will have to be added. So the down tube is typically quite slim. It will look good. This design is usually cheaper because it's simpler. The only downside is it's quite impractical. If you live somewhere with cold winters and you can't take the entire bike in for charging, then you won't be able to take just the battery inside. So how will the e-bikes of the future look? Some of them will have the external removable battery because it's a cheaper solution. In fact, Canyon just released such a bike for 2019. But many customers are expecting the battery to be hidden away. I'm pretty sure we are moving away from the integrated design that adds a lot of weight. This can add up to 3 kilos compared to external battery designs. The solution from Specialized that we just saw is an example of how the integration can be done without adding weight. But it seems it adds cost. To make a good integrated design that doesn't add weight or cost, we need aloe frames that can be built without removing any material.